uh, commission. It could be called a commission. Basically, it's uh, uh, all schools in region, uh, history teachers came together and uh, think of events and so on. And uh, uh, so, uh, the question was, uh, have you done any research? And uh, uh, did school support you? Uh, and uh, uh, how long time did you spend for uh, research? Uh, actual uh, doing research. And uh, uh, it's interesting part was that uh, basically women did this uh, first one, second one. They did this uh, during uh, um, maternity uh, break. Uh, 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 how, maternity how leave. Sorry? Maternity leave. Yeah, maternity leave. Uh, and uh, uh, one third, thirty percent of uh, uh, my colleagues, they did their master degree during this maternity leave. Okay. So interesting fact. Uh, uh, this isn't. Uh, uh, um, information from all across Latvia, just uh, from uh, concrete region. But it's typical. The slogan, the, the, a good teacher is a teacher that engages in research. It's a good idea that you see the condition for teachers that impede them from doing research, and maybe you can map those obstacles that prevent teachers from doing research. On the other hand, I would suggest also to look at academia, because many researchers in academia, like most of my colleagues, they avoid as much as they can any connection with schools and education. They are very engaged in very esoteric research that has no real relevant impact to the school system. So I think one thing that you can map in a global setting to see how many history professor in academia have any idea what's going on in school? <laughs> in history. And then you can see the gap. And when you can see the gap, you can suggest some solution. You can suggest some way of bridging this gap. So while you, it's a good idea to approach teachers, it's also a good idea to approach professor in the academia, in the history department. And see whether you have, you have some. I can admit that I'm very familiar with schools and the school system, but I'm a kind of a lonely bird in it. And it's a good to see how it is wrong. In England and Germany, I think the situation in England is better. Uh, there are people, and my people are not willing to do it. What does it mean? Why people think, why professors think that somehow it's a downplaying the research if they engage in school? And try to ask them why. Why are you doing it? What, what happened in this linkage? Because everybody was asked, was a teacher of history, then he became a professional. So why is somehow disconnected? But before getting actual grants and providing support to the teachers that do want to do research, I think that beyond sharing experiences and how we have done it, we might want to share experience and what opportunities they are. So, mm. like his group here, the chair, which I've seen, I've heard some grants being mentioned. Yes. yes. Yeah. I'm already very curious, and we can do stuff, possibilities that are out yeah. there, but we need to map them, definitely. Yeah. We're discussing two types of teaching, two types of research, I think, like the academic historical research on one point and the practical research, research on didactics. And uh, yeah. the question is, uh, are, uh, which one is most relevant to teachers or which one do we want to develop or, or both of them? And the uh, second thing I hear, there's a lot of initiatives approaching Europe Clio to do some research for them. Is there a way in which we can make them more uh, self-sufficient or maybe self-reliant to give them more tools to do their own research on a small scale, so not official research, but maybe uh, ways to improve their own practice, so they're not relying on someone from Europea or someone we know to do the research, mm -hmm. but give them the tools to uh, make steps themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, research on two points of view. First one is academical. We all understand what is academical research. Yeah, and another one, what is teacher practical, Research, it's methodological, methodological uh, and, uh, work. You can, you can prepare some teaching strategies yeah, yeah, to yeah, use yeah, yeah. that. But in the same time, it is, uh, it is uh, uh, covered by your everyday 
uh, things what you do and you have to prepare things how you do your job mm -hmm. and that's it and there is no science uh -huh. no, there is no science that I prepare strategy how I will work with students with uh, let's say uh, mental problems yeah. mm -hmm. there is no science this is just methods what I use to work with them because there is science behind that. There's a yeah. lot of stuff you can yeah. exactly. Yeah. I understand that, but public rhetoric says yeah. that it uh, is yes. uh, it is there just you methods what you yeah. use. This is first and second one. It is so good that we are speaking of this question. Thank you for raising this because uh, last year um, in uh, April uh, there was uh, Pestalozzi organized uh, conference uh, ethos of teacher. And uh, during this conference, uh, they, uh, they accepted uh, manifesto for uh, 21st century teaching. And as well, this idea is covered in this document. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this conference, together were uh, more than 500 educators from all over the Europe. And uh, this idea that uh, teacher isn't just person who gives knowledge, but as well fulfill him or herself. And it isn't just facts. This is as well uh, conclusions that uh, they gain during research process. Okay. Enough now talking. time to sorry for talking. Uh, time to work. 
we, yeah, we just wanted to, money is always an issue for us to bring people here. We try to do it within the projects, but it's not always possible. We try to give grants to people to come, but we also try to help you get other grants if you don't have financial means to come. But one of the main reasons why you're here is also that we're going to talk about association management and about organization management. So we actually want to do some group work. Okay, this is a lot of text, which is also written on the handout, so that's good. Um, basically, we want you to work in groups. You can decide yourself how big this group should be on flip chart papers, and you're going to discuss what tools are you using to sustain your organization or association and to develop it. Actually, in our association, we do uh, training as a manager, so, but as a matter of fact, we, we uh, not very much, but, but we, we, we earn money as well making courses, ma 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 making training. <laughs> 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 We have a Facebook group here. We are connected with the German group. Uh, 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 we don't care membership is because the same case. And uh, offer the third uh, 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 because you're the, be the best in English. Yes. 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 Yes
if you've got money, you're happy, you do things, you prosper. And the problems, as we know, right across countries, is this lack of government funding. It's where you can't tap into central government these days, local government. It's the age of austerity, and there are problems. Likewise, um, in the past, volunteers would volunteer their services for free, for a minimum amount. And again, for good reasons as well as bad that pool of volunteers is, is drying up. So there are real problems. However, we did say that there were some ways um, forward, so we've leapt over a few sharks. Um, certainly, um, membership fees seem to be about the only sort of regular sort of funding that can come into a whole tune program of selling teaching resources that actually brings in a lot of money and because they're written by teachers for teachers they're good things so you could actually become much more entrepreneurial that would be um, a way forward and although I said that sort of volunteers are lacking there is support from higher education universities are usually quite good at offering you cheaper rooms and for, for conferences um, and certainly in terms of writing resources and doing lectures for you and running the training if you speak kindly to your nearest university um, they quite they will do that service uh, for you particularly again in the United Kingdom it's university lecturers that provide the basis of um, a free lecture program for 